Heather. Sorry. Thanks for the tea. How are you feeling? I'm sorry, that was a stupid question. No, it wasn't. I just don't know how to explain how I feel. Heather, I'm here for you. Okay? I want to help you. You can trust me. I just feel so guilty for lying to you about that night. I remember everything so vividly. And that's the problem. I told you that I was tired and that I wanted to go home. He wanted me to stay. I should have listened to you. Please stay. We were having a good night and it's only half twelve. I promise we won't stay too much longer. I'm sorry, Jen. I'm just... I'm just really tired, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. But don't walk home, get a taxi. And text me when you get back to office. Mm -hmm. I promise. Why didn't you tell me what was going on? I was so ashamed. I thought things were over with Matt. I didn't want to drag you into my mess. What mess? The real reason we broke up was to do with drugs. Not only was he using them, but he was dealing them too. And that's why I ended it. So what made you meet up with them? So he told you not to tell me? I couldn't risk him spreading lies to my parents. I just thought he was up to his old tricks again. Manipulating me. I thought I could stand up to him. Matt, where are you? I'm here like you asked. Please, don't do anything stupid. Matt, please don't hurt me like this. I just want to be with you. I'm sorry, but I can't be with you. I can't cope with you dealing drugs. Sorry. Why do you have that? Matt? No. No! no! It was so naive. I thought... It's not your fault. How could I not have seen how obsessed he was? I always knew he was possessive, but I never expected him to be so unstable. I didn't see it either. I just thought that he was overbearing, that he could be very possessive. No one could have seen it coming. I never asked you what you went through. That night, when you found out that I was missing? I was out of my mind with worry. It was hours after you left and... You just went home. Heather. Heather. Hi. So you didn't text or call? 
Like, I'm home and the lights are on, you're not here. So if you could like tell me where you are, that would be fantastic. Hey, it's me. Um, have you seen Heather? No, it's just, um, we went out and she left really early and I told her to get a taxi. She said she texted me and she didn't and, like, she's not home and it's really late. Hi, um, I need to report a missing person. The police couldn't do anything until after 24 hours. I mean, your parents had to wait. It was awful. So sorry. You never have to apologise. You went through something traumatic. It wasn't your fault. I just never thought I was going to get out of there. Out of that dark, cold place. Matt, why are you doing this? <laughs> the hours kept ticking by. And I knew that the chances of finding someone after 72 hours were low. I could hear him mumbling to himself. He kept saying how he just wanted to be with me. I felt so helpless. Just when I thought there was no hope. It happened. Those doors opened and the light flooded in. I was so relieved. I was free. But I still can't help but wonder what would have happened if I hadn't been found. If I was still trapped in there. You don't have to wonder about that, Heather. What do you mean? You're still here. With me. <laughs> <laughs>